Hello, I'm Morgan, the blogger behind Smitten with Books. Uh, these are all my books back here in my bookcase. I bet you guys have a lot more books than me, but it is what it is. Anyway, I love vlogs. I love looking, watching all your guys' vlogs. Sunday is pretty much my favorite day of the blogging, blogging world because I love looking at all your guys' mailboxes or in my mailboxes. Um, and I love looking at all the books that you guys have received over the week. I think it's really fun. And then it kind of gets the books out there a little bit more. And then I like I get some ideas for new books that I want to read. So I think that's really cool. So, uh, in my mailbox is hosted over at the Story Siren. So I decided I'd do one of my own. Anyway, so last week, I last week or two weeks ago, I received this book in the mail and I was super excited. Um, Raised by Wolves by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Uh, there you go. Uh, so thank you so much Egmont. I already read it and it's super good. Super good guys. You should really buy this one. I think it comes out in June sometime and I will have my review up in May or the early June. Early June. I'll have it up. And then I, uh, since August or April was over, I had to use up my Borders bucks. So I went to Borders and I, they had their 33% off promotion and everything. So I had to buy some, like two books. Here we go. The Iron King by Julie Kagawa. I'm sorry, I probably just butchered that name, and I probably will butcher a lot more, but here we go. I love the cover, it's so pretty. And the back's really pretty too, actually. Anyway, um, I already read this one and reviewed it on my blog. It was very good. Uh, I'm not really into fairies that much, so I was really surprised that I uh, actually liked it, but it was really good. And I actually have the sequel from NetGalley. Net that um, publisher gave me, so I'm really excited to read that on my Kindle. Also, uh, I read this, uh, re somebody reviewed this on their blog, I think, and uh, it looked really good, and I think they liked it, so I decided to buy it. Albatross uh, by Josie Bloss. Yeah, there we go. Uh, when I read, I read this one already, too. Uh, it was really different. Uh, I don't know if that's a bad thing. I just didn't really enjoy it. I, it was like way out of my range from what I usually read, so it was really different. And I just don't. I. It wasn't what I was expecting. Uh, yeah. It was kind of sad in a way. It was kind of a sad, a depressing book, I guess you could say. So yes, I'll have that review up soon. Anyway, and then I. I had my. Um, I had a gift card from Amazon.com. Amazon, my favorite web website in the world. And so I needed, I decided I needed to buy some books, so, and they have, have their four for three book promotion on select books that they do. I think it's been on there for a while, so I decided to buy four books under that, so, uh, whatever. And the ones I picked out were Swoon at Your Own Risk by Sydney Salter. I love this cover. It's really cute. And then I love the blue in the back, and then there's like a green stripes. That's really cute, too. Uh, I'm almost just started this one actually. I was kind of busy this morning so I had to put it down, but it was actually really good. Um, I've had it on my wish list for a very long time until I read Princess Bookie's review of it and she was like, uh, I think in it she, was, she said that the guy licked uh, ice cream off of her chin and I was like, okay, I need to buy that one. So I, I went on Amazon right away and I put, uh, pushed by. So that's what really brought me to buy that. And then I also got Flirting with Boys by Haley Abbott. I love this cover. It's actually the cover of a Prince Charming book, I think by Deb Coletti, I'm pretty sure. But, I don't know. I like this one better. I don't like when the yellow was up there. I think that's what that book was. Anyway, I've never read anything by Haley Abbott, so I started this one, and it's pretty, actually pretty good. It's a pretty good writer. And it's really cute. It's like a summer read, you know. And it's almost summer, so I need to get my summer reads. And then, I don't know why I always make this mistake, but I buy all these short stories because they look so cute, you know? And I was like, okay, well, whatever, I'm going to buy two more. So I bought two more. And this is the First Kiss, Then Tell. And this is a lot of authors. I think the ones I know of are Deb Coletti. Uh, let's see. David Le Levithan, Sarah Mlynowski, Laura Nerical, Allison Noel, and Scott Westerfeld. There's a lot more, but I don't really know them. Uh, it's a, it's a collection of true lip locked moments. It's um the authors actually wrote about their first kisses and they put them in this book. So I'm really excited to read this. You know, it's always fun reading about first kisses, even though they're kind of awkward. But 
Yeah, I'm kind of excited for that one. Hopefully I'll read it. And then uh, this other one is like a summary one. It's fireworks. And there's four authors in this one. Um, Nikki Burnham, which she wrote Royally Jacked. Aaron Haft is the author of Pool Boys. Sarah Minolsky, Bras and Broomsticks. And then Lauren Miracle, Talk to You Later, TTYL. And so I decided what better not way to start the summer without this book. So I decided to buy it. And yeah, that was my four for three. And then I also bought two more books on Amazon. Uh, Rules of Attraction by Simone Alcaliz. I think that's how you pronounce her last name. Uh, this is the sequel to A per Perfect Chemistry. I already reviewed this on my blog, so you can check out the review if you want. It's really good. I loved it. Uh, but I, d I, I did like Perfect Chemistry a little better, I decided. Even though this one's really good, too. So, yeah. And it just came out, so I, was, I needed to get it, I decided. so. And then this last one. This one comes out on May 4th, but since I ordered it with all the other books, they sent it to me early. Uh, Caleb and Kate by Sydney Martinusen Coloma. This is a pretty, like, a really pretty cover, you guys. Um, I, I don't know if you can see it, but there's, like, holog holograms, I think that's what they come. And then, like, in the sun, you can kind of see them a little bit. And the back's even really pretty, too. I love the green. Anyway, so I got this one on Monday, so it was, like, two weeks before it came out, and I was super excited. I already read it, and um, I, or I reviewed it on my blog, so... You can check that out. It's really good. It's uh, it's really similar to Perfect Chemistry by Simone Elkalis. If you like that one, I definitely recommend this one. It's very similar. And then it also follows the plot line of Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare. So it's kind of neat to see like a, a futuristic or a modern version of Romeo and Juliet since I read the old one in school. Yeah, not, not good. Anyway, so these are all the books I got in my mailbox this week, so um, you should really comment and share yours. I like, I love hearing about what you guys got, so bye!